Welcome back to Generation E. Now, if you're a sci-fi fan, then the term virtual reality will trigger a lot of memorable movie scenes. Absolutely. I can remember some already. Star Trek, The Matrix. You know, I can also remember those awkward head-mounted goggles. <laughs> but also, I love Star Wars, which yeah. uh, it's another thing that comes to mind. Now, what we're about to show you is a technology, a derivative of virtual reality. It's called mixed reality. And the brains behind this new technology hope that this will be the next biggest thing to hit the computer entertainment world. I met up with a group of academics here in Singapore with high hopes to make this sell. Rub your eyes as many times as you want. Welcome to the world of mixed reality, or as the experts call it, augmented reality. In one simple sentence, augmented reality brings whatever's on your screen into the real world. Think the holodeck on the Enterprise or Princess Leia in Star Wars. She didn't have to do this to impress me. But the spin-off of virtual reality is not science fiction anymore. Tech professionals worldwide are developing the technology and hoping to commercialize it in the next few years. Take Adrian Chuck. Adrian heads a mixed reality project as an associate professor at the National University of Singapore. He, along with his 11-member team, have been fine-tuning new techniques using 3D images for nearly three years. They're aiming now to sell the idea. Military installations have shown interest. Currently, when... Um uh, the generals and the officers, they are, you know, doing battle plans. They'll have like these kind of 3D, what they call sand models, and these are kind of made out of, you know, sand or some kind of plastic material. And then they'll see like in the 3D terrain of the battlefield and they'll kind of place objects and make battle plans. But with this technology, that uh, actual uh, battlefield can be still placed on the table and then people around can like, you know, interact and, you know, pick up and place objects, just like they would do with physical objects, but it's completely digital. The tech entrepreneur is also eyeing the high-end market for his first planned consumer product, what he calls Magic Books. With these books, uh, you can actually see the real, the real book, and at the same time, 3D objects can pop out of the page. Uh, so, for example, you could have uh, you know, children uh, maybe reading about uh, Alice in Wonderland, right? And then so they can read about you know, Alice in Wonderland, the story, and then Alice, and Alice can pop out of the page and have the tea party on the page. This application, called 3D Live, is how video conferencing could look in the future. I can see you kind of pop out, out of a book, and whatever you're doing live, I can see it here. And it might not be in the same place, so you could be, say, New York, and I could be in London. We could have like a 3D, uh, you know, teleconference, but instead of just a video screen. But what gets Adrian really excited is the potential for his technology in the entertainment sector. You go to the game arcades and you see teenagers, they, they play those dancing games, you know, the para para dancing and things like that. But imagine with this technology that, you know, we could capture some famous singers. And we're actually, you know, speaking to some Taiwan companies now to, to try to organise this, where basically we can capture those, uh, you know, the pop stars. Instead of just seeing a screen, then you'll see them kind of pop up in augmented reality. So you could kind of be dancing, you know, you know with Madonna in your, dan in your, in your lounge room or something, right? Mass market applications are still years away, but Adrian believes it's just a matter of time before commercial use of his technology becomes a reality. You know, you look kind of geeky with that thing on your head. I think it's inevitable. Yeah. What did you see in there? You saw all these images. No, then. I did see the images, yeah, and especially with the Hello Kitty and, you know, trying to bring the duck or the, you know, the kiddo kiddo be frog over to the, the garden. Sounds it was, like... It was a lot of fun. Fun, yeah. It was definitely a lot of fun.